circles in this new dimensions. Okay, let's go ahead and start standing at the center of our mats. You can close the eyes, let the arms hang heavy at your sides. Simply observe the breath to start. Notice its depth, its pace, any qualities that you would use to describe it. And on your next exhale, draw the navel in, really push every bit of breath out of the lungs. And then inhale through the nose, filling up all the way down to the diaphragm, through the lungs, and even into the throat. Hold for just a moment at the top, and exhale through the mouth. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides and up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, those hands through heart center. Take a moment here again to just connect with the breath, this time evening out the inhales and the exhales, letting both come and go through the nose. And then we can soften the knees and begin to rock gently from heel to toe. Notice what pace you start at. Notice if it feels easier to go forward or backward. If you find yourself hanging out in one place more than others. And try to just provide some evenness, some smoothness to this movement. Come to standing still, shift the weight into the left foot, come up onto the toes of the right, and begin to hover the toes off the mat. Keep those eyes closed. If ever you feel yourself beginning to lose balance, try to press further into the left foot, and then maybe just like look through your eyelashes a little bit until you can regain your balance, and then <laughs> Close the eyes again. I'm struggling today, wow. And go ahead and switch. Lower the right foot, come up onto the toes of the left. Again, root into that right foot, create length first, and then hover those left toes. And lower the left foot. Open the eyes, sweep the arms out to the sides and up. Overhead, let's take just a little baby back bend, reaching up and back slightly. And then exhale, we're gonna fold all the way down. Soften those knees as you do so. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step the right foot back. Lower the right knee, inhale, chest chin up. Exhale, plant both hands, step back, downward facing dog. Allow any movement here that feels good. And I challenge you to simply change the pace, whether that means speeding it up or slowing it down. Just move away from what the default is. That'll bring a little more awareness into whatever you're doing. And on the exhale, as the exhale starts, begin to ripple forward. So come up onto the toes, round the back, ripple all the way forward until you lift your chin at last, finding a plank. Press the mat away, feel that really exaggerated rounding through the back. And then lower the knees, lower chest and chin, Ashtangasana. Inhale, pull the heart through, even while dragging the hands back on the mat. Exhale, lower. Curl the toes under, either find your knees or if you're ready this early in class, press yourself through push up and then back downward facing dog. On an inhale, sweep the right leg up and exhale, step it forward. Lower the left knee, inhale. 
Exhale, left foot forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, soften. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms lift, hands separate, palms facing each other. And again, take that little back bend, really press into the feet, even as you reach up and back with arms extended. And then exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, lower that knee, inhale. And exhale, right foot back, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And notice if your body wants movement or stillness and honor whatever feels best. If you're in stillness, you can think of lifting those sit bones a little bit higher, lowering the heels any amount. One more deep inhale. And then ripple forward on the exhale, starting by coming onto the toes, rounding through the back, finding your way to plank, finally lifting the chin to neutral, lower knees, chest, chin, ashtangasana. Inhale, snake through, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, use tabletop or push up, find your way up and back, downward facing. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it forward. Lower the right knee. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This time, heel toe the feet till big toes are touching. Inhale, sweep the arms up, find Utkatasana. Low ribs draw in toward the hip points. Notice if your knees are collapsing into each other or if there's a gentle hugging, but there's still some integrity. Cactus those arms out to the side, lift the chin. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, straighten the legs, hinge forward for a little baby fold. And then inhale, we're gonna come right back up. And exhale, hands through heart center. Set the feet hips distance apart. We'll sweep those arms back up, interlace all fingers except for index fingers. Elongate the spine, press into the feet. And then we're gonna exhale, fold to the right, press the hips to the left. Keep drawing that left shoulder back. Press evenly to all four corners of each foot. Let the chin be neutral. Let the jaw and the eyes be soft. Keep inhaling through the left side body. Not through it, I guess, to it. <laughs> Inhale up through center. Exhale to the left. Hips press to the right. It's easy to shift the weight into the right foot. So again, engage evenly through all four corners of each foot. Inhale through center. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. Keeping the hands at heart center, draw those shoulders back and toward one another on the back side of the body. Anchor the tailbone straight down. Feel low ribs draw toward the hip points. Press into all four corners of each foot. Feel the thighs firm up. Feel anal and urethral sphincters draw in and up. And then press the hips forward. Lifting the heart even as you do so. Maybe lifting the chin to look up and or back. We're here for a couple more breaths. So draw the breath in and out, trying to create 
length in the breath, even if it trembles. And then inhale, press into the feet, lift your torso back up, sweep those arms out and up, create some length here, and then soften the knees, waterfall the torso forward. Grab peace fingers around the insides of the big toes, pull against those toes, length on the spine, look forward. And exhale, fold at the hips. Try to create some contact between the thighs and the belly here. And then worry about pressing in the feet, lifting the sit bones any amount. But take a moment first to shake the head out, yes or no. Let it be heavy, unburdened. On an inhale, pull against the bind length on the spine to look forward. Release the fingertips to the mat, and we're gonna step this right foot back. On an inhale, sweep the arms up, find your high lunge, Alanasana. Anchor the tailbone straight down again. It's not gonna quite go straight, but it will provide a little more straightness little more neutrality throughout the pelvic girdle. Find your breath. Now on an exhale, if you want to move here, if it feels nourishing, then I'll cue us through some stuff. If however, staying still feels like what you need, maybe you've been moving all day, and staying still feels like what your body's craving, then please do stay here. If you want to move on an exhale, we're going to bring hands to heart center, lower the knee to the mat, the right knee. Inhale, lift the right leg up, lift the arms. Exhale, hinge forward, finding this power lunge. Create a long line between the back right heel and the tips of the fingers. And then inhale, sweep those arms down and back and then lift the right leg. Find some length here. Think of anchoring the right kneecap, the toes to point straight down. Lower the right foot behind you. Lower the right hand at the front of the mat. And then in, I'll sweep this left arm up. So we're twisting to the left. Exhale, lower the left hand. Inhale, lift the torso back up. We're just gonna do one more of those if you'd like. Exhale, hands through heart center, lower the right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, power lunge, long line of energy from fingertips to heel. Inhale, arms sweep back, right leg lifts. Establish some length here. Establish some strength here. Lower the right toes, lower the right hand. Inhale this left arm out to the left and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, back to high lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the heart for just a moment. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hinge forward. Fingertips on the mat. Crawl those fingertips all the way to the right foot at the back. Lower the left knee to inhale, chest and up. Exhale, straighten both legs any amount, look back. Inhale, bend. And exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend just the right knee. Sweep those arms up. Find your high lunge facing the back edge. On an exhale, draw hands through heart center. Again, hinge forward, long line of energy, this time from the crown of the head through the back right heel, or left heel. And then shift the weight into the right foot, lean forward more, lift the left heel toward the sit bone. Nice. 
Now options here. Option one is going to be to stay just like this, a really active opening of this left hip. Option two, reach back with the left hand, thumb points down, grab the outside of the left ankle. Right hand can stay at heart center and begin to kick the foot into the hand any amount. Option three, double bind. Right hand matches left. Keep kicking. Wherever you are, keep lifting that left knee. Hold for three, two, one. Slowly step the left foot back, come off into this high lunge. This time as you exhale, bring the hands forward, left hand comes to the mat. Sweep this right arm open to the right. And exhale, right hand lowers. Step the right foot back, find your plank. And we'll move through our first vinyasa. So come to the toes, rock shoulders past wrists, and go ahead and move through. We'll all meet in a down dog. Now from this down dog, we're gonna lower just the right elbow. So right forearms on the mat, slide the left hand back until the palms align with the right elbow. From here, Bring the crown of the head down inside of the right wrist. Crawl the feet in any amount. Now keep contact into all the fingers into the forearm. Inhale this left leg up. Exhale, bring the knee toward the left elbow or left tricep. Point the toes, reach the heel toward the sit bones. And then maybe feel yourself rock a little bit back. Maybe you can hover the right toes. Maybe you can lift that right foot up. We're in a funky headstand. Funky meaning one palm and one forearm are planted. Whether the toes are lifted or not. Lower the right foot if it's lifted. Step the left foot back, walk the feet back a bit. Now here's the hard part. Press into your foundation, lift your head back up. Whew. Bind down or dog. Let's go ahead and step the knees down, keep them wide, big toes together. Keep the torso up, find your way to sit on your heels. Hands on the thighs, let the breath come and go. I'm gonna introduce us to a pranayama here. It's one that we've done before, Kapalabhati. So it's a fast exhale, passive inhale. Please know that if you are feeling any weirdness, like pressure system wise, dizziness, uh, headache, anything like that, then please just breathe normally here. If however, it feels okay to do a specific breathing exercise, we'll do this through the nose. It'll be again, navel draws in, pushes the breath out. And then we let a passive inhale happen on its own. And then again, exhale with force. So if you're with me here, we can exhale everything from the lungs, inhale fully through the nose, Fast exhale, passive inhale. Really let that pulling into the navel be what pushes the air out. It's not just something that happens in the nostrils. It's something that happens from the navel. You may even feel your whole body kind of jolt in response to it.
Inhale fully through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. Notice the after effect. Notice any sensation around the face or the skull in particular. One more inhale. And on the exhale, let's go ahead and open the eyes. We can inhale the arms out to the sides and up. And then exhale, let's rock forward to hands and knees. And then find our way to a downward facing dog. On an inhale, let's sweep this left leg up behind us. And exhale, we're going to bring it to the outside of the left tricep. Inhale, back and up. Exhale to the tricep. Inhale, up. Exhale, in. Inhale, up. And exhale, step that left foot toward the hands. From here, crawl the hands forward about a foot in front of the foot. And we're gonna step into that left foot with the right leg up behind us. We're gonna do some hop switches of the feet. But first I want us to just prepare the arms for that engagement. So grip into every fingertip. Keep the right toes and knee pointed down and the toes are flexed. On an exhale, we're gonna rock into the hands, press them out of way. You're gonna feel the, the shoulders rise up toward the ears, lift the left heel, and then inhale, come back. Exhale forward, inhale back. One more, exhale forward, inhale back. So if that feels like a good challenge for you, please feel free to stay there. If you'd like to play with hop switching, there's one more intermediary step, which would be to exhale forward, bend the left knee, and just kind of hop, heel kicking the bum. Okay, so it would look like an exhale, or inhale, sorry, left knee bends, exhale, left heel comes toward the sit bone. All right, and we can just play with that. If you wanna get a little more dramatic here, we're not gonna hop switch quite yet. We're just gonna work on kicking up. As we bend the left knee, we shift the torso back. So the head comes close to the left knee, the right leg reaches up. And as we shift weight into the hands, we just hop off the left foot. So if you are like, what is she saying? Feel free to look at the screen. We'll bend the left leg, shift forward and hop. And so we're kind of holding an L shape. Now, if you're like me, you're like, okay, my legs are tired of this now. <laughs> this is where the hop switch comes in, where we bend the left leg and we hop switch in the air. All right, the hips don't need to come very high for that hop switch to happen. But it actually becomes easier on the body when the hips do stack over the shoulders, even though it's a little scary. <laughs> Once the right foot is planted, the lower the left toes behind you, Crawl the hands halfway to the left. Halfway to the left, turn both sets of toes out. Bring the torso upright. Exhale, those hands through heart center. Let there be a little bend in the knees for a moment. We just spend a lot of time upside down and doing hopping, so you might be feeling a little lightheaded. Once both sets of toes are pointed out, we're just gonna alternately bend side to side. 
opening up our hips in this transverse plane. And the next time you're about halfway into the left leg, let's hold it. So right leg is straight. Tilt that pelvis so that it's neutral. Probably feels like we're tucking the tail a little. Left knee draws toward the left pinky toe. As we bend into that leg, we bring the arms up, thumbs and fists, bend the left elbow, hook over the right fist. Option to lift the right toes, balancing on that heel. Draw the shoulders down and toward each other. Feel strength in the arms, strength in the core, strength in the legs. Look over that right fist. This is a strong pose. If you're shaking here, that's fine. But try to find the softness of at least being head up after spending so much time head down. Inhale, sweep those arms up, straighten both legs. And exhale, bring hands to heart center, bend into this right leg as much as feels okay. Keep the right tricep inside of the right knee, pressing that knee open and then anchor the right fingertips down to the right. Sweep this left arm up. Toward the left fingertips, introducing just a little twist of the spine. On an exhale, lower the left fingertips back down to the mat. And we're gonna play with a little bit of a transition here. So instead of popping the hips up, we're actually gonna just crawl the hands to frame this left leg. We can lower the sit bones to the mat, lower the right knee down. So we're in this internal rotation on the right side. The top of the right foot is on the mat out to the right. Nice, now from here, inhale those arms up. Create a long line, draw the core in, and then exhale, hinge forward any amount. Once you reach that maximum hinge, which for me is not very far um, of where you can keep a long line, let the hands fall, let the back round, let the torso hang heavy. Every exhale, get a little softer. Inhale, draw the torso back up. Keep the hands on the mat though. From here, I like to angle my fingers to point to the back edge of the mat, thumbs point forward toward the left foot. Press into the hands, lift the hips, crawl toward this left foot until you're in a low lunge. Nice, curl the right toes under, lift that knee. And we wanna step the left foot back a bit so that we can plant the left, or sorry, the right hand, and then inhale this left arm up, just like we did at the very start. Option to stay right here in a revolved lunge, or to lower the right palm, pivot on the back foot until the outside edge is lowered to the mat, and then maybe lower the hips any amount. One of these might feel better than the other. For me, actually staying up today feels a little bit better. Inhale, arms all the way up, high lunge. Exhale, hands through heart center, step to the front of the mat. Close the eyes, soften the knees. Find your breath. Notice what the body is feeling, what the mind is thinking. A 
couple more breaths, just standing here. And then let's open the eyes. And we'll start that over. That was a fiery one. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna remember it. So if, <laughs> if you're like, I remember, turn on your speaker so you can shout directions to me. Okay. I know we start with the standing back then. So let's go ahead and actually, no, we don't. Um, keep the feet under the hips, interlace fingers the awkward way other than index fingers, and then bring the arms up overhead. Stand tall, exhale, fold to the left, hips push to the right. Draw the shoulders toward each other. You might even feel the upper arms pull in a little bit closer to the face. Inhale through center. Exhale to the right, hips go left. And inhale center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Push into both feet, firm up the thighs, lift the pelvic floor, draw those shoulders back, and then press the hips forward. Lift the heart, lift the chin. On an inhale, sweep all the way up. And then exhale, soften the knees, fold all the way down. With really bent knees, slide the palms face up underneath the bottoms of the feet, Pada Hastasana. Inhale, pull against the bind to look forward. And then exhale, fold. Again, only after you fold, think of lifting the sit bones. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Release the fingertips to the mat. Step the left foot back. Inhale, lift up, high lunge. Square the hips, anchor the tailbone. And then again, we have the option for stillness or for movement. So choose whatever you did on the last side. If you're moving, we'll exhale, hands through heart center, left knee lowers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, long line from fingertips to left heel. Inhale, sweep the arms back, left foot lifts. Establish length here, especially in this first one, we're working on creating some muscle memory. So left heel reaches back, but the toes point down, the knee points down. Lower the left knee, lower the left hand. Inhale, sweep this right arm open to the right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift back up, high lunge. All right, one more of those. Exhale, lower the knee, lower hand, start center. Inhale, lift. Exhale, power lunge, long line. Exhale, lift, arms come back. Find length. Exhale, lower the left foot, left hand. Inhale, right arm sweeps open. Exhale, lower the right hand. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bend. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. Crawl those hands to the left foot. Lower the right knee, inhale. Straighten both legs any amount, look back, exhale. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. 
Inhale, bend just the left leg. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, hands through heart center. Hinge forward, again, a long line, crown of the head through the right heel, and then shift the weight into this left foot, press into the foot, lift the right heel toward right sit bone. Option one, stay here. Option two, right hand grabs the outside edge of the right ankle. Option three, left hand meets it. Hold here for three, two, one. Lower the right foot behind you. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, fold forward. Step back, plank pose. Move through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. And we have a bit of a push here. We're gonna lower the left elbow this time. Right hand slides back to line up with the left elbow. Inhale the right leg up. Nope, lower it. <laughs> First plant the head inside of the left wrist. Come up onto the top of the head. And so walk the feet in until it feels like an okay place to balance. We're still gripping with both hands. The right leg lifts here. And then exhale, knee toward right elbow or tricep. Now really point those right toes, draw that heel up toward the sit bone. Rock onto the tippy toes of the left foot. Maybe you hop it in a little bit and you just feel that ability to maybe hover. If it feels okay, you can keep hovering, point those toes and lift the left leg all the way up. If the left leg is lifted, begin to slowly lower. Step the right foot back to meet it. And what I think is the hardest part, press back up, downward dog. Whew. <laughs> and from here, we're going to rock forward, lower the knees, feet come together, set the hips back, find a comfortable seat, let the eyes close. We're not gonna do a structured pranayama here, but I'm gonna give you a couple options. Option one is simply gonna be to even out the inhale and the exhale. Maybe you count in your head to make sure they're even. If you have a lot of heat building up because this is a really fiery flow so far, then allow the breath to come and go through the mouth. Think of your tongue lying wide at the base of the mouth and inhale coming over the tongue. Exhale from the throat. Feel the energy of the body moving a little more downward. It rises up as we get on the head, as we keep the head low in general. And then we take these moments to be seated and we feel the energy again begin to lower. We still have those hops. That's kind of our last inverted push. So just remind yourself that we have that little push left. And we'll go ahead and open the eyes and rock forward. 
Find hands and knees and then find downward dog. On an inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, rock forward, bring the knee to the outer edge of the arm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step it forward. This is where we can either slide the right foot back or slide the hands forward. We're going to do those hops, okay? So lift the left leg behind you. Do make sure it's squared. That'll actually provide some structure in the hips and give you more stability as you work on these hops. On an exhale, lean forward, press into the hands, come up onto the toes and the right foot. Inhale, come back. Exhale forward. Inhale back. One more. Inhale back. And then we have those other hops. You can keep doing what we just did or on the inhale, bend the right knee. On the exhale, heel kick and lower. Exhale, heel kick and lower. One more. Now, if you wanna do those really spring-loaded moves, we're gonna inhale, bend the knee, bring the face toward the right knee. And then on the exhale, look to the hands, straighten the right leg, pop up into an L. We'll do a couple more. And then the last thing is to do hop switches if that feels okay. You can do one, you can do three. We wanna land with the left foot forward, lower the right toes, crawl halfway to the right, turn both sets of toes out, and let's keep the hands on the mat this time as we bend side to side. Keep the head looking forward though. Next time you're bent halfway into the right leg, hold it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands out to the side. Thumbs and fists, bend the right elbow, look over the left fist. Keep those left toes lifted if you choose. Shoulders draw together on the back. Two more breaths. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, bend into the left leg as much as possible. Left elbow presses into the left knee, left fingertips anchor down, inhale the right arm up. Look toward those fingertips. One more breath here. Lower the right fingertips. This is where we begin to crawl the hands toward the right leg without lifting the hips. Lower the right sit bone. Lower the left leg to the left. Left foot is outside of the left thigh. Top of the foot on the mat. Once you get square to the front, Flex those right toes, inhale the arms up. Long spine, exhale, hinge forward. Wherever the straightness of the spine begins to falter, lower the fingertips, and then round through the back, let the head hang heavy. One more breath. 
Inhale, crawl the hands in and even out to the sides. Ang angle the fingertips to point back. Press into them as you rock the hips forward, finding your low lunge at the front edge. Curl the left toes under, lift that knee, keep the left hand planted, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right hand lowers. Left foot steps forward, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. Feel for a moment the balance throughout the body. As you feel ready, we'll inhale the arms up, open the eyes, exhale, hips back, hands forward. Lower all the way to a seat. Let the hands come behind you. And we'll do a reclined pigeon to end class. So you can either stay seated upright and bring left ankle to right knee and find a seated pigeon in this way. Or you can grab the backs of the thighs and rock down bring left ankle to right knee and find a fully reclined pigeon. Make adjustments until there is some sensation in the left hip, but keep in mind sensation doesn't need to mean intensity. You can have just the barest sensation there. It just means that something's happening. It doesn't need to happen to any certain degree. As you feel ready, we can gently release out of this and just switch sides. Gently release out. If you're seated, stay there. If you're lying down, rock back up to a seat. We're just gonna do a final little shoulder stretch before really lowering down. So for this stretch, you'll just crawl the hands back behind you. You have the option to have palms face down or to have palms face up and then draw fingertips toward each other and toward the forearms. It's whatever feels best to you. You can scoot the hips forward any amount, draw shoulders toward each other, lift the chest, lift the chin, look up. Keep dragging the sit bones back on the mat, that'll deepen the stretch. And if you don't feel anything, just keep scooting the hips further away from the hands. Take nice deep breaths here. On your next inhale, draw the knees in toward the chest. Exhale, rock all the way up. Only so that you can grab the backs of the legs and rock down. Hug those knees in for a moment. Let's keep the left knee hugged in, interlace the hands or the fingers of the hands beneath the left knee. Straighten the right leg out on the mat. Point or flex both sets of toes. 
and then draw the left knee toward the left armpit. This wind relieving posture can be very soothing after an energetic practice because it soothes the nervous system. It brings the energy down. Let's grab the right hand on the far side of the left knee, draw it across the body, left arm opens to a T, and find just a spinal twist here. Inhale, the left leg back into center. Draw the right knee in to meet the left and then switch them out. Interlace fingers the awkward way beneath the right knee. Stretch the left leg out, pointer flex both sets of toes. Draw right knee toward right armpit. And then just sink into that feeling of grounding. Inhale, bring the left hand outside the right knee, stretch the right arm out to the side and draw the right leg across the body for a final spinal twist. Inhale, the right knee back in, left knee comes to meet it. Let the knees kind of rock side to side. Neutralize through the pelvic girdle. And then stretch the legs long ahead of you. Let's bring right hand to the heart, left hand to the belly. You can set up in such a way that the elbows are supported by the mat. Let the jaw soften, the eyes soften. On an exhale, do one final release of any holding throughout the entire system of the body.
Begin to consciously invite the breath back into the body, deepening the inhales, lengthening the exhales. On an inhale, you might even reach the arms overhead, taking a final stretch, exhaling through the mouth to let it go. We can drag the heels in symmetrically and then draw the knees in toward the torso. And notice here if it would feel better to rock to one side and press up or simply to grab the backs of the legs and rock up. And we'll eventually find our way to a comfortable seat. Once we arrive, we can inhale arms out and up, exhale, palms toward one another, thumbs pause at forehead, pause at mouth, and come to rest at heart center. Might we remember the strength, the softness, the fire, and the surrender that our bodies and minds just displayed on this mat and know always that that exists within us. Namaste.